Hello, everybody. Uh, so this is uh, Wyndham. I'm Laurie. Uh, and we are here currently today representing the movie Lighthouse at Tully's Farm. Uh, what is it? October Shop Fest? Let's go with that. It's October. I think so. I'm not, it, yeah, even though we're now November. Yeah, um, yeah a very generous uh, listener has donated some tickets uh, to us. <laughs> to come and check out this incredibly scary attraction. So there's something like eight or nine different specific things to scare the bejesus out of us. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. It's, at the minute, I can see it's essentially like Chesterton World of Adventures in a field. Yeah. yeah. So that's what we're going to go for. Uh, and we'll tune in every now and then and let you know how we go. All yeah. right, cheers. Bye. That was great. Wasn't that good? Oh, well, what was it called? I can't remember. <laughs> nine eleven, that? something like that. Nine eleven. Was, was it? Yeah. yeah. What do we do with nine eleven? No, no, no. I don't mean that kind of nine eleven. Oh. Okay. Explain what we just did. Okay. So we've. It was kind of, it, it kind of nondescript, really, wasn't it? It's was very sort of like <laughs> mundane. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. So basically, we all walked through uh, a shed. But yeah. we, to begin with, they asked us to put a bag on our heads, uh, keep hold of a rope, a hood, and walk around, a hood on our head. Yeah, so we can't, can't see can't anything. Can't see anything. Uh, I'm following Laurie. Laurie's first into everything, so I think they gave you both barrels. How was it for you? <laughs> yeah, it was a bit. It's <laughs> right. A lot follow of the rope. Us. Follow the rope on your left, and then oh, you, we, we start descending into this sound, and it made me start thinking of, of Lovecraft again, in a way. Yeah. I don't know why, because I think there's probably a story where this thing, did, you descend into blackness. But we're doing that, doing that, and then obviously you have the obligatory... <laughs> sort of all jumping bit, out. That, that was a bit... Um, yeah. Drama degree. Drama degree. I've done we, that. We had... But they need work. We're not in panto season. No, I agree. Not quite I agree. No, yet. no, no, I get that. Yeah, yeah, It'll yeah. kick in that. November, late I get November. That. So we had that, then the floor starts sort of kind of weirdly falling away underneath yeah. your feet, which was great. Bit of fire, bit of wind. And yeah, wind, and you can start seeing things appearing through the hood. Um, and then it, 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 it just kind of sort of cranks up again, doesn't it? Yeah. When you get near to the end. Yeah, and then you come through the end, and I'm, I'm left stood there fondling Laurie, not realising that we've finished. Yeah. He had his hood off, I didn't. But we thought we had finished. We're finished. And then you go through. And, and then you go through, and then you're going into like this butch... Whoa! You're going into like a butcher's abattoir, yeah. and there's this guy that looks like Hold the Door yeah. from <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. And then this thing comes out of nowhere, she's got black eyes, and, and you go to another... strobe lighting and people coming at you there. All in all... Uh, Seven borderline eight. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. You've heard it here. Right, we're going to go and find something else. Okay, Laurie, so we've just done two. Yes. We've just done the haunted hay ride. Haunted hay ride, yeah. What do you think of that? It, it was good, but um, I suppose it's it because we, were, we weren't um, alone. Or, yeah, you so know, it's, just, it's, it's just basically two a, big, of us. a big trailer that everybody gets on the back of and a, a tractor drags you around the attraction. People jump on the back and go, Yeah, Whoa. we go through the woods and there's loads of sort of different uh, scenes that we kind of enter. A lot of people come on board and scare us. I must admit the chainsaws at the end were slightly concerning. They were sounded really realistic, didn't they? They were. They were definitely live chainsaws. However, I think the actual saw the chain element had been taken could, off. Yeah. <laughs> But you could hear them vibrating against, you know, they, yeah. were, they, were, they were putting it in between people and waving them around. And the smoke was coming out, the sound, you could smell the petrol. Yeah. They looked pretty fucking scary, the people that were wielding them. Yeah. So that, that was good, that was good. But, yeah, out of all of them, I think it's because we were that sort of group all together. Yeah. It was just sort of like sit Agreed. back and enjoy. Agreed, it. not scary. And we also did a, 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 stimula a simulator, sorry, uh, with the haunted mine ride. Which is about as cack as most simulators are, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, so, that's a bit poky. Yeah, but, but other than that, on the back to the the hayride though, you did you did say fucking hell they put a lot of effort. They put in a lot of effort. There was a full size dinosaur in there at some point. <laughs> yeah, there was. They had buses, they had cars, they built little villages. Yeah, it was a good effort. They had a naughty nun. They had two naughty who, nuns who, who offered who us confession all round the back, as it were. Come into a confessional box, which was round the back. <laughs> okay, we have just finished going through the last of the eight spooky horror scream fest 
uh, rooms. How are you feeling about it, Laurie? <laughs> I'm exhausted. It's, I'm physically exhausted. It's proper t- tiring, isn't it? Oh, and crikey. It's, not just picking, like, physically, you know, because you have to walk up and things and this, that and the other. It's... Because essentially all we did, it did nothing really more than potter around kind of mazes yeah. or yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of things. Yeah, uh, but there is that constant point of tension, isn't there? So even yeah. though you're not, it's not scary, scary, you're constantly made to jump and you constantly get that <laughs> adrenaline <laughs> you're spike. constantly on edge. And it's just exhausting. It is. But... but- is I it was it's far better than what I was expecting. I completely agree. Far better I, was than what I was expecting to be something a bit shonky. Yeah. I was expecting, you know, we're coming up to panto season, there's a lot of actors spare out there. You know, don't Warming get me up. wrong, I love an actor, but I was expecting, oh behave, it's like loads of people jumping out on me. And that's exactly kind of what it was, but the environments that they kind of put you in there's a narrative to each environment. Uh, admittedly, like when I think of each ride, there is kind of a, like a moulding. You know, was that that ride? Was that moment of this one or yeah. whatever? But so they blur into each other a little bit because <laughs> fundamentally, it's about people jumping out at you from dark corners. <laughs> yeah. But, but that doesn't almost, get bored, doesn't get tired. It's almost like you're walking into a dream. And I'm very much of the one, that kind of person that completely, I just surrender myself. So if, if, if yeah, I could go did. to the front, I would want to be right at the front. Yeah. Just to just completely, like, head first, no hands out in front of me kind of thing. And that was it. I was quite, I followed Laurie around for most of it, to be fair. <laughs> and he was, he was, he was just, I'm just walking. Yeah. No hands, just, and there were, there were a couple of these things where, they're kind of like big airbags either side of you that you have to force your way through them. Yeah. And you can't see where you're going. They completely you. cover you up and you can't see where you're going. But I, I have my hands in front of me, arms outstretched. Yeah, no, I To didn't. be on the safe side. And no, Laurie I just didn't. blindly walked into them. Just well, no, that was my opportunity to experience my birth again. So it was oh, all complete so I've, darkness. I've and missed I, I, my opportunity. I very rarely get that opportunity <laughs> to experience that. So this, I held hold of it tightly. What did you think of the scary clowns in 3D? Scary clowns in 3D, I, I would say actually that's one of my top favourites. Because it's it really very disorienting. Disin, what's the word? Disorienting. Dis, disorienting. And um, there's a lot of Charlie and the Chocolate in there, you yeah. know, where you're going into these rooms, they're getting smaller. You've got a lot of uh, sort of checkeredness that goes weird and twisted. We go, we went into the tunnel, didn't we? Yeah. That was spinning like and completely it was, it was a little bit psychedelic. Trippy. Completely and, and you're given you're given 3D glasses as well. So there's a whole lot yeah. of neon paint everywhere, and that jump pops out as, at you as you walk round, and it, it's yeah. really disorienting. But whilst you've got to realise, whilst you're doing all of this, there's fucking scary clowns like <laughs> constantly just coming yeah. out and giving you sort of you know com- coming out of places you wouldn't even fucking expect coming and out of your back on, pocket there was one on uh, bungee cords as well it leapt at you well yeah it was kind of on the wall well, she, she was, leapt she, off the wall yeah she, she was talking to someone in, like in the in the corner and then suddenly she just appears out of jumps completely out, at, at you and then zaps up to the ceiling again it's like what the fuck girl but anyway, yeah. yeah, it was it was it was mega, wasn't it? Very, very good. It was very brilliant, good, absolutely brilliant. Uh, unfortunately Bloody for hell. everybody, by the time you listen to this, it will have closed because the last night is tomorrow night for bonfire night. Mm. But I think unanimous verdict of the movie Lighthouse. Yeah. At least from me and Laurie, who are the only two here, so we're the only two that count. Yeah. Um, <laughs> definitely come next year. Tully's Farm. Google that. Uh, and it will come up with their October Scream Fest or whatever it is. But it is Fantastic. well worth it. It's really, brilliant. really we've, great production, we've great just... finish. And if you want to walk, if you want to physically experience kind of dreams in a way, for want of a better word, quite dark dreams, quite jumpy dreams, <laughs> quite exhausting dreams, just this have a go. Yeah. Have a go. I mean, like 50 quid a ticket, we, this was the tickets that we had. Uh, fast Allowed track, fast track so you can jump track, the queue. Yeah, you don't have to wait on that queue crap. 50 quid, which kind of like it, it compares to what you'd be paying for Chessington World of Adventures. And this this is obviously a very more... This is more visceral niche, though, isn't it? Very, yeah, very much so. Great, great, great. And we've just left and we've we've been here three and a half hours. Yeah. Which is way longer than I thought we'd be here. Should we go home? Yeah, let's go home. Should we kiss? Why not? <laughs> Anyway, we will leave you with that, but come next year, definitely. It's awesome. Agreed.
Hey, Siri! Hey, Siri, where are you? <laughs> this is an interrogation! Why have you stolen Siri? Hey! <laughs> Siri! Confess your sins! Come out! Siri! Siri! Oh. Siri, we go have some questions alive. for you! We've got some ghostly guards trying to invoke Siri. You've been yeah. a bad girl, Siri! Yeah. Siri! She has been a bad girl, that's why she's in the phone, sir.